On October 8, 2024, French Armed Forces Minister Sébastien Lecornu officially announced that France will transfer Dassault Aviation Mirage 2000-5F fighters to Ukraine early next year. These aircraft are currently undergoing modernization to meet the standards of the French Aerospace Force. The number of aircraft to be transferred has not yet been specified, writes Aviance Legendaires. Le Cornu made the announcement during celebrations at the Saint Dizier 113 Air Base to mark the 60th anniversary of the Strategic Air Force's first nuclear mission. The news of the delivery of combat aircraft to Ukraine has undoubtedly caused a negative reaction in the Kremlin. Vladimir Putin is critical of the transfer of combat aircraft to Ukraine from European countries, which hinders his plans for a war against Ukraine. According to various sources, France will deliver 12 to 20 Mirage 2000-5F fighters in 2025. Le Cornu said that the first deliveries are planned for the first quarter of next year. From January to March. Until then, French specialists will train Ukrainian pilots and technical personnel. It is not yet known whether the transferred aircraft will include two-seater Mirage 2000 Boliviano. However, it can be said that the Mirage 2000-5F will become a multi-role combat aircraft for the Ukrainian Air Force, and the aircraft will be repainted in Ukrainian colors. One of the main modifications will be the ability to use Scalp EG cruise missiles, which are already in service in Ukraine. Next year, Ukraine will receive important new weapons to fight Russian invaders. This is positive news for Ukraine and a testament to the strong diplomatic relations between Kiev and Paris. Earlier, military expert Alexander Kovalenko said that the most interesting thing about the Mirage 2000 aircraft is its combat load. He emphasized that the range of bombs used is no less interesting, GBU-12, 16, 24, 49, which are high precision with a flight range of 15 to 20 kilometers and slightly more, depending on the type. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited French President Emmanuel Macron on Thursday in Paris for another stop on his recent bout of city hopping across Europe. Zelensky's aim is to bring support for Ukraine in its ongoing conflict with Russia. After the meeting, Zelensky spoke to the press and insisted he had not come to discuss a ceasefire, but to look at the situation facing his troops in the eastern regions of Ukraine. His meeting with Macron follows discussions with British Prime Minister Keir Starmer and NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte. Macron recently met Ukrainian troops being trained in France. The Ukrainian leader had been due to present his blueprint at a weekend meeting of Western leaders and defense ministers in Germany, but it was postponed because Biden said he had to stay home to respond to Hurricane Milton's landfall in Florida. We're strong, uh, guys, so of course, big deficit with the equipment. That is the first, and the second we also spoke about it. The second about that some, you know, uh, some ammunition and uh, permission to use some long distance, not enough of our, our uh, drones, long distance drone production, not enough for today. So we are searching some funds, some money for this, for interior production and some permission from our partners. This is, this is not a topic of our discussions, any, any ceasefire from with other allies and we didn't speak about it. I saw in media something that today was a lot of information that I came to speak about his fire. No, no, it's not right. I don't know where Russia works a lot with media, with disinformation, so it's understandable. But thank you. A residential building was partially destroyed in the Ukrainian city of Krivy Rih as a result of a Russian strike on Thursday. 
Ukraine State Emergency Service reported that one person was injured in the strike on President Volodymyr Zelensky's hometown in central Ukraine. Footage shared by State Emergency Service of Ukraine shows local residents being evacuated from the building.